Hey guys, I'm Missy and welcome to my YouTube channel, Not For The Faint Crafted. If you are completely new to my channel, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. So today I'm excited to share with you another one of my Poundland DIY videos. And in this video specifically today, I'm going to teach you how to recreate these three beautiful home decor pieces, which was super quick and easy to make. And also the best thing about it is that I did purchase these items quite recently. So if you do want to try and recreate any of these crafts, hopefully you should be able to do so. But yeah, if you are a fan, please do give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to see more of my how-to videos and you're not a subscriber already all you need to do is just click that subscribe button but don't forget the notification bell too and that basically means that whenever I post a video you should be able to receive that update in your YouTube newsfeed. But yeah, other than that, I'd be curious to know out of the three DIYs, which was your favourite? So let me know in the comments section below but I'll head straight to the DIYs and I'll see you at the very end. So for this DIY, you will need a wooden tray box and some clever tiles which were both purchased from Poundland. I also originally used white spray paint, however I did end up running out, so ended up also using white acrylic paint and you'll also need some scissors. So firstly I made two mistakes at the very start of this DIY. So as I mentioned earlier, the first mistake was that I spray painted the box white, but as you can see the job looks unfinished and that's because I ran out of that spray paint. And the second mistake that I made was I completely forgot to remove the corner chippings from inside the tray, which is something that I should have done at the very beginning. However, I did end up doing this using a ruler, which actually proved to be a lot easier than I originally thought it would be. And once I removed those four chippings, I then repainted the tray using white acrylic paint all around the outside and the inside of that tray. However, I did leave the bottom of the tray unpainted just because I thought if I stick the tiles on top of this, you wouldn't be able to see through this anyway. So I wanted more control with the way I aligned my tiles on the bottom of that tray. So what I did was I took those clever tile strips and I cut off the two outer layers and then I repeated this process three more times so I ended up having tiles that looked something like this. And before sticking the tiles on the bottom of the tray I just positioned these to get a feel for what this would look like. But I did find that there were still gaps between the layers of tiles that had been set out and as I didn't paint the bottom of the tray you can see the difference in colour between the white and then it's off-white colour. So the next thing that I did was just take a pencil and stencil a line between each of those gaps and then I repainted this using white acrylic paint. And once that had dried, it's time to stick your tiles down onto the bottom of that tray. So I just removed the plastic sheet from the back of the tile and the front of the tile and then stuck this down onto the tray. But you want to be really careful when you stick this down and take your time with it because I found that this, the back end is really sticky. So if it does get stuck down and you want to remove it, it might pull off that paint, which it did for me. And once you stuck all your tiles on, your Mediterranean tray should look something like this. So for this DIY you're going to need a bunch of things. So the things that I purchased from Poundland were the four gold photo frames, the solar light bulb, and the fantastic elastic glue. But for this DIY you will also need some gold card, a pencil, scissors, some double-sided sticky tape and a ruler. So firstly, you wanna measure the height of that bottom base of your solar light bulb, which came up to 2.8 centimeters. And then what you wanna do is transfer these dimensions onto your gold card and cut this out using scissors. So you should end up with a gold strip that looks something like this. And then next, you wanna wrap your gold strip around the bottom base of your solar light bulb and using a pencil and some scissors you just want to trim off any excess card that you don't need and then next using that double sided sticky tape you just want to stick your gold strip on the bottom base of that bulb so your bulb should end up looking something like this and then moving on to the second part of this DIY, you just want to remove the glass and the back end of your photo frames, so you're just left with the four gold frames itself. 
And then finally, taking on fantastic elastic glue, you just wanna stick on your frames together so it forms a cuboid shape. And then all you need to do is just place your bulb in the center and there you have it, your decorative light piece is ready. So for this DIY, you're going to need some heart-shaped place card holders, which I purchased from the wedding section of Poundland. You'll also need a rolling pin, a mat, some dry clay, a craft knife, some water in a bowl beside you. And if you want to keep the alphabets as accurate as possible in terms of dimensions, then you might want to stencil these out on a piece of card, which I've done to spell out home. And then on top of this, you'll also need some acrylic paints and some Posco pens. So firstly, you want to take a piece of your clay, roll this up and knead it, and then roll it out so it's roughly two to three millimeters in thickness. And then next you want to take your stencil and using a craft knife, cut around this, removing any excess clay. Basically you want to repeat this twice for each alphabet, so you should have two identical clay alphabets. I accidentally forgot to press record for this part, but what you want to do is place your placeholder and sandwich this in between your two alphabets so that the alphabets hold in place. And you want to repeat this process for the other three placeholders that are left and you want to leave this to dry for a few hours. And once your clay is dried you just want to paint this all over with white acrylic paints and leave this to dry again. And once that had dried I basically painted each alphabet with different colours and I went for light airy pastel colours. And once that was done it ended up looking something like this. To give it a bit of depth, I just added in some borders and some patterns inside each of those alphabets using Posco pens. Um, so it ended up finally looking something like this, which I'm so happy with. Hey guys, so I hope you liked all three DIYs. If you did, please do share the love by giving this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more how-to videos from me, then don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and that notification bell too. And that basically means whenever I post a video, you should receive that update in your newsfeed. But yeah, as I asked at the very start of the video, I'm curious to know out of all three DIYs, which was your favorite? And one thing to remember is I did purchase these items quite recently, as I mentioned earlier. So if you do want to try and recreate any of these, you should hopefully be able to find the items in Poundland itself. But yeah, I hope you're all well and staying safe and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.